Do you enjoy doing your budget? Do you have a budget? Do you know how to budget? Do you budget by paycheck? Do you budget once a month? Do you budget twice a month? Do you go back and check on your budget? Do you look at it after you did it? I mean, how do you complete your budget? Well, there are many different ways that you can complete your budget. You have some people like myself who use paper and a pen. You have some people who like Excel spreadsheets. You have others who use apps. So there are various different ways that you can budget. It just all depends on what you like and what is best for you. But however you complete your budget, you want to complete it. So in this particular video, I'm gonna be showing you how I budget with paper and pen and using a planner and some planner stickers and yada, yada, yada. So definitely go ahead and keep on watching. But before you do, if you haven't already, Definitely make sure that you go ahead and subscribe. And let's talk about this. I reached 500. Hey. Hey. So we got 500 people a part of the gym squad. What's good? Yes. So I am so excited. So I am going to be having a giveaway. But stay tuned because it's going to be a bomb giveaway. So... That will be coming in the very, 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 very near future. But I just want to say for the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for everyone that has subscribed to my channel, everyone who's hit the notification bell, everyone who watches every single video that I put out, everyone who has ever gave my videos a thumbs up, commented. It all means the world to me. Like you have no idea. I love it. I love engaging with you guys. I try to make sure that I respond to every single comment that I receive, etc. So if you're not a part of the gym squad yet, what are you waiting on? What are you waiting for? <laughs> Go ahead and click that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so that you do not miss another video from your girl. And on this video, I want you to give it a thumbs up, mm, a thumbs up, mm, 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 mm. let me stop. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into the video budgeting because we love budgeting. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start our budget. So basically what we're going to put here is what our income is. And let me tell you right now, my nails, yeah, I'm in the process of cutting them and then putting some other ones on. So just ignore these, okay? Alright, so our income for this month or not this month, I'm sorry. My income for this paycheck is gonna be $2,014.80. And I'm gonna take these bangles off too because they just make a lot of noise. All right, so first income is going to be my full-time job. And then this here is gonna be for child support. So if you're watching me for the very first time, I do um, have a line here that says child support. However, I do not budget for it because I don't get anything consistently. 
Um, I think I maybe got just a couple of payments last year. I'm not sure about this particular year. Hopefully they will begin to come in regularly. So I just put a line item here because I just might get a surprise check in the mail. So for my full-time employment, what I'm going to be budgeting with is $2,014.80. So this here is my income minus my tithes and offering and my pay myself first savings, okay? So now here, what we're going to put here is our bill. So I like to separate my bills and my expenses and this is where you will see that. So here I'm gonna put bills. And then, excuse me. And then here we're gonna put budgeted. And then actual bills let's go ahead and write out my bill so first what I'm gonna do is I am going to put here uh, ties and offering okay and then I'm just gonna draw a line through the reason why I write it is because it is a part of my budget um, I just took it from my income you, you don't see it I think that that should be private between you and your God. All right, so then next is going to be my pay myself first, savings, and then I also keep that um, private as well. And so I draw a line through that. So now here's all the good stuff. So next is gonna be mortgage. And this is gonna be $750. And I just take $250 and I put that in a car loan account. So the next is going to be gas company. So the gas company got your girl. Well, you know, I got the gas company because this is quite a lot. So this is $286.11. Okay, so next bill that I have is going to be my cable and internet. And my cable and internet bill is $148. So this is actually going to be going down very soon. Um, I'm going to be removing stars probably Monday once power airs its final show on Sunday. And then I also have some Apple TVs that I have connected to this bill. And so once I pay those Apple TVs off, then my bill will decrease even more. Next is gonna be Edison. Edison is my electricity bill, and this is $105. And then after Edison is gonna be my car insurance, which is $147.58. Okay, so my car insurance will be renewing in March. So what I'm going to be doing moving forward is paying my car insurance for six months at a time. Because of course we know that if you pay up front, then you get a discount and it's not going to be as expensive and things like that. So one good thing is because I haven't been in an accident or anything like that, my um, what I'm paying every single month will be decreasing anyway. Um, and then I'm also just going to pay up for six months and I cannot wait to do that. So this is all of the bills that I have. So I'm just going to draw a line here. And then here I'm just going to put total. Okay. And let's go ahead and calculate what the total is. So total is 
86 and 69. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move on. So now here's where I wanna put the expenses, okay? I like to separate them out. I don't like them all together. So I don't have that many expenses this particular paycheck because I kind of needed to scale back a little bit. But here I'm gonna put my daughter's lunch. And we know that she gets 500, not 500, she gets $50. I know y'all was like 500, what, what in the world does she need? <laughs> and then next is gonna be groceries. This is gonna get $150. And then gas, so I'm gonna be decreasing in my gas. We know if you have been watching, I was setting aside $165, but I'm not actually using all of that. So we're just gonna put over $140. And then um, this is pretty much it. This is all I'm gonna be taking out for um, for cash, for my expenses actually. So cash envelopes will only be my daughter's lunch and groceries, oops. That's actually it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and calculate this up. So it's $340, that's so what I'll be taking out. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to add this line item and this line item. So we're $2,026.69. So now let's go ahead and put that here. So this is total with bills and expenses. $2,026.69. So if you take this amount here, so you see 2,026.69, if you just subtract 2,014 and 80 cents, we are over by $11.89. So because we are over here by $11.89, basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this from my overflow account, I guess you can say, so that I will not, of course, be negative in my account or anything like that, okay? So that is basically it. Um, this is how you budget by paycheck. This is not the full month. This is just one of my paychecks for the month of February. And in the for my second paycheck, I'll essentially do the same thing on a second um, page, okay? At the end of the week, or even actually for myself, what I do is I complete a one week check-in and then I go back after the two weeks and I kind of just review how I did. All right guys, well that is it. Thank you so much for staying tuned and watching. If you watch all the way to the end, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed and then also make sure that you hit the notification bell. Until the next video, go be great. Peace out.